doing one of my very favorite things to do on this channel, a makeup giveaway. How do you enter to win the $25 Ulta Beauty gift card? It's super easy, subscribe to this channel. Also, follow me on Instagram at Cami's Cosmetics. All right guys, I love you so much, and I will see you in my very next video. Bye. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. So in this video, we're gonna be testing out new makeup. I have a desk full of items that I absolutely cannot wait to dive into. Most of them are drugstore items. If you're wondering how I got this look and what products I use and how I feel about them, then stay tuned for the video. Oh my goodness, I need to get some makeup on my face. ASAP Laneige. This is what's available, so I'm gonna put this on. It smells so good. It smells like a ice cream fruit pop or something. So we're going to be testing new makeup. I have a bunch of stuff here. Some of it is brand new. Some of it I've owned a couple months. I've never used it. I've got some NYX. I've got some Milani. I am very excited to try these out. So we are zoomed in just a little bit closer. I already have my brows on. It's the NYX micro brow pencil and today I'm using the color black. I didn't have a new brow product so let's go ahead and move on into primer. I thought I tried it out before but I can't be sure because it still has like this little tag thing on it. We're gonna see how it is today. I don't know if it's like a white thick cream. I don't know if it is a silicone clear. Let's find out. I know that there was like so much hype about this product when it first came out. You know what, I'm probably gonna end up using, oh, it's white. It's white and, um, or is it pink? It's white and creamy. Is that enough? I don't know, we'll just use one more little line like that and try to spread it around. We are going to use this also on my eyelids to keep my eyeshadow on. I want my makeup to stay around my nose. I also wanna put primer around my mouth cause like if I blow my nose, like the first thing to go is makeup around my nose. Primer has dried down. Let's go ahead and use the foundation. Today I'm using a brand new foundation. I've never used this before. I really love the last Milani foundation that I fell in love with, you guys. I think it was the, I loved Born to Glow. I love this Screen Queen. Screen Queen really, really impressed me. It gave like a natural radiance. But anyway, today I'm gonna be using the Milani Glow Skin Tint. You guys, I've never used this before. It's this is color 310. It says hydrating skin tint, 29% squalene, glow enhancing ingredients. Okay, that's so interesting. I haven't seen foil on a product in a while, but that's really good. It protects it in the drugstore because you know people in the drugstore like to look at stuff and tamper a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. I'm just gonna put a quarter size amount on this side and disperse it myself. Hmm. Definitely this looks like a summer color for me. It looks like it's gonna be much darker than my neck. I have some blemishes and stuff. I don't know what kind of coverage this product is gonna give us. On the packaging it says it has in it electrolyte coconut water blend. Wow, okay. Quarter size amount was definitely enough. And this is a pretty good coverage. So I'm gonna be using a powder to try to match the color for myself. So I'll be using a powder on my neck. This is definitely giving me a healthy glow. Today for concealer, I'm gonna use something that is newer. A lot of you probably have not heard of this one. This is the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken with caffeine and vitamin C. This is new from Revlon, but I've used it a couple times. I do know the color is a little bit l too light for me, so it's gonna be perfect for today. So while this dries down a little bit, I'll talk to you about their product. I've just used it a couple times. Like I said, it's newer from Revlon. This product, actually does a pretty good job. I can't remember why I haven't used it more often, probably because I've gotten so many concealers since I've gotten this one. I buy a lot of makeup, you guys. I do have new concealers, but this is still new to the market. And so 
I think I actually really liked it. So this is the color 30. It's light medium. This is a five in one concealer. It says it's going to erase, perfect, brighten, hydrate, and refresh. That is a lot of promises for one concealer. And I've used it before. Let me tell you, it really does make you look more awake. I didn't show you guys what powder I used on my face because none of it is new. I used a separate one for under my eyes and then one for like the rest of my face. I'll link them down below in the description box for you in case you're interested. Let's go ahead and move on to the eyeshadow. It is brand new. NYX has been coming out with a ton of new palettes lately. I have the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette. Now I have their newest palette, which I think is the Ultimate Queen Collection Palette, but I've used that before. I've never used this one and these colors, I mean, these are right up my alley. There's like a true shine on the shimmers. Okay, so I'm thinking of using the plum color. So that went on pretty easily and ooh, it's really pretty. It looks like it's going to be a lot in the pan, but it doesn't look like a lot on the eyes. Okay, and I'm bringing this down into the corner where I would do a wing. I like this color here as a highlighter, but I'm, I don't know about using it under here. I feel like I need like a white color. This color right here from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette is called Tempura. It's more of a white color. I'm gonna put that underneath my brow, and then we'll see if that pink champagne color will go on top of it nicely. So this is what that color looks like. This is a clean brush and I'm just blending, blending, blending. And obviously, I mean, it's not obvious, but at the end of the look, I go back and I like do my brows again because I always get powder in them. The brows are not done until the end. And these are my Le Bote Soe brushes, which I absolutely love. I love how these colors are blending together and putting the same color on the lower lash line as well. I also noticed that the colors are not falling out, like the colors are not all over my cheeks. There's really like no fallout with this. This is the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. I've never used this before, I've had it a while, so I really wanna try it out. So the wand is on the thicker side, so I'm gonna use the mascara right there at the tip of the wand. There's definitely length, for sure. Yeah, I would say this lengthens more than volumize as well. Wow, even look over here, and I'll just add some uh, like a wing liner. Should I mix the purple and the blue together? I've mixed the purple and the blue on here. I added a black coal pencil to the bottom. So I'm gonna tight line my top lashes. You'll see how much darker the eyes look around my eye. So I'm gonna do that really quickly, just right in here. I feel like I just need a little bit lighter of a something on the inside of the eye. So I'm gonna use this. I was in Ulta, I saw these by Jasmine Brown and Ilore. I thought I really wanna try those out. They're super dramatic. These are called the JB Lashes. We're going in with the lashes, guys. Let's, let's do the lashes because the look is calling. These are the lashes, and what I like is that the band is flexible already. I don't have to do a whole bunch to do this. So it's not gonna to be too stiff on my eye, you know? This is so much better. It's so much better with the eyelashes, right? Yes, let's continue and then we're gonna fix the brows and do the hair and it's all gonna come together. Lately I've been taking the eyeshadow palette I use and I get the highlight color from that palette and I also highlight the bridge of my nose. I'm not gonna highlight the bridge of my nose with the pewter purple color that I used under my brows. It's just not gonna work. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use an actual highlight from the Soft Glam palette. It's my go-to one right now. And I'm gonna put that on my nose and my chin. So I have this liner. This is the Milani liner. Okay, I'm gonna use these two lippies together. It is a, this is a Milani lip color. It's a statement lip liner and the color is called Spice. And it's sort of warm, but I'm gonna balance it out with like a cooler tone color because this purple in my eyes is pretty cool tone. And I'm gonna use the Maybelline Ultimate lip color in the color More Stone. All right guys, so this is the final makeup look. I am really enjoying it. I went ahead and curled my hair and I'm so glad I ended up doing a purple smoky eye. 
Purple always looks good on everyone. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the items that I tested out. Let's talk about what was exciting and what floored me. So this is so pretty. I am wearing a lot of powder on top of it to try to keep it like skin-like and not too, too glowy, but I really, really like this. I think that this is a really nice medium coverage. My face feels hydrated. It's a nice skin tint that doesn't feel just like, my face is naked. I don't really love that feeling. I feel like I'm wearing a foundation. Let me know in the comments, actually, if you want to see a wear test on this. Okay, so NYX, no surprise here. I really like this Worth the Hype mascara. I do think it gives more length than volume, though. Guys, if you are looking for a full coverage concealer, if you have dark circles, if you have a lot of blemishes around your eyes, or anything like that, this concealer is for you. These eyelashes don't cover my whole face and I appreciate that because I have a small face and I like wearing dramatic lashes but I don't like wearing them when they cover my entire eye and these don't cover my entire eye and I still get the dramatic effect because I like these. I love you so much and thank you for watching. I will see you very soon in my very next video.